Hey there, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. I'm back for another wine review. You know, I say that a lot because I'm always back for another wine review. And I'm going to keep giving them to you wine after wine after wine. So, for those who are new, again, as always, these are wines that you can find on the shelves of your everyday liquor store, grocery store, and some wine shop shelves. Simple review. You know, forget all the numbers, forget the stars. Very quite simple. Thumbs up. We now recommend that wine. Three quarters. You know what? I would rock that at a party. And if it's good enough, I'll bring some home. Halfway, mm, you know, not so much for me, but you give it a try. Let me know what you think. You know, something about it just didn't work with my palate. Thumbs down. <laughs> That's always an easy one. So last week, let's get to today's show. Last week, I bought you a wine from the winery Diora out of Monterey. And so I'm bringing you back another one. So last week was a Pinot Noir. So I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and rock the Chardonnay as well. So we're looking at a 2018 Diora, okay, Monterey 2018 Chardonnay. And you know what? Uh, I think on the last week, I said, you know what? I wasn't too, you know, I wasn't vibing with that label, you know, but this is like a classic style looking label for Chardonnay for me, you know, nice white or off white or creamy label embossed with the brown trimming, you know what I mean? Or gold trimming. I, I can dig that. I can do that. But that brown label, mm, for some reason, that was working for me, but the wine was pretty good. So I thought, you know, let's give the Chardonnay a try. So 2018, as I said, screw cap. And you know how I feel about that. So the screw cap haters, you know what? Let's just drink some wine. <laughs> you know, I don't stand on tradition. I don't stand on ceremony. What matters to me is the juice in the bottle. And if it's bad, that means it went in that way, right? Right. All right. So 2018 Chardonnay out of Monterey. Now about this wine, it is aged. In, actually, you know, I did some research on it. This particular wine is both fer is fermented, primary and secondary. Secondary, malolactic, softened, rounded up, make it more subtle. Uh, is uh, primary and secondary fermented in French oak barrels. Then. You know, it spends a total of uh, 11 months in French oak barrels, different types of toast, you know, to uh, give it different flavors. And then a final blend takes place, you know, of the, the three different wines and to give you this result here. Check out that coloring. I mean, that's a, uh, woo. Now, actually, it's pretty dark here, like pretty kind of golden yellowish, you know. So it's, I would say it looks like that there, kind of golden there, but here kind of nice and yellow, almost looks the same as this. Close, close to the cap, right? <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what it looks like, you know. So hey, it looks like the cap and the neck. All right, or the collar. Give it that nose. I mean, wow, you know, fresh tropical citrus, subtle spice notes in the back, but very clean on the nose. You know, it's very bright on the nose. You know, like sunny California. <laughs> you know. You catch those uh, early morning, mid morning breezes off the ocean. You know how it just like cools and, and crisp on the in your nose as you as you inhale. That's what this is. If you haven't experienced that, you know, find yourself on a good beach where you got nice crisp early morning or mid morning breeze coming over the over the water, and you see what I mean. But it won't compare to the ocean. A lake would do okay, but it's a lot different that spraying of the ocean spray, you know, in your nostrils. That's what I get here now. I just pulled this out of the refrigerator, but as it's warming up in my glass, you get some subtle toasty notes, notes here. Mmm. Like a, a grilled pineapple. I pick up some of that, you know, like the caramelized pan pineapple thing happening here. Got ah, really nice. So now for the Ritz. Wow, that's flavorful. And you know what? I think the temperature is like just right on this because I set it out for a little bit before I did this video. So temperature is just right. But as it warms up, you know, it just will explode in your mouth of flavor. But it does really nice here. It has a nice coolness to it on the palate. So now, that was just the rinse. Acidity is nice. Kind of that vanilla nutty finish. You know, I like that. No, rich on the palate. What well, we got alcohol? 
alcohol on this one is coming in at 14.5%. But you know what? There's no burn going on here. So very rich, though. Very rich, you know, on the palate. Let's give it now the taste. Mm. Now, I want to call this a classic California style, but subdued. It's not that oaky, buttery, creamy, rich kind of a thing. There's a nice balance going on here, you know, with the with the softness and subtleness, you know, coming from that secondary fermentation. But then they didn't skip, you know, on giving you the, the brightness of the fruit and the acidity. You know, so it's, it's a nice balance going on here. It's not over the top buttery. It's not over the top rich, but it has a definitely a nice mouthfeel. You know, as it warms up, it becomes more richer, more fuller. But it, it just a subtle coolness or a slight chill on it. You know, just, just sits it just right on my palate. And one more taste. You know, you get that, that kind of kiss of sweetness like a ripe fruit you get with this overall to me I think it's 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 very nice okay you know uh, I'm across the board when it comes to Chardonnay you know and uh, I, I probably can never go back to that classic California Chardonnay style where it's over oaky over buttery you know but that balance that's being achieved now what's coming out of California is what I really do enjoy I think Diora, uh, the 2018 Chardonnay, hits it right on the spot for me. Hits, I mean, just right there on the spot. So, your Wisconsin wine guy for the Diora 2018 Chardonnay. You know, I'm going to give this a double thumbs up. A double thumbs up. I mean, it's it's a throwback to the classic style, but but more modern. Okay? I mean, I, I really dig this, and hopefully you'll dig it too. And so, there you have it. Diora 2018 Chardonnay from Monterey. Wisconsin wine guys telling you as always, let your palate be the guy. Selecting your wine, and we'll see you next time. Ciao.